What's up everyone? I hope you are all doing well. Once again today we are going to be going out with the new Vivo X100 Pro. We are going to be doing some POV photography with this bad boy. We're going to be going to Osaka Castle today. And if you haven't noticed there is now a join button down below. So if you'd like to help support the channel directly that is a great way to do so. I'll be doing things like giving out some raw files here and there from some of the videos that you see so you can edit them yourselves. Things like that and some live streams and you're going to get some cool stickers and stuff like that. So yeah like I said if you want to help support that is a great way to do so and without further ado let's get right into it it's getting a little bit later in the day it's been really on and off weather like right now it's just a little bit cloudy in some parts that's what your eye look like there oh look at that uh, uh, sir hey can you help me to take a photo oh, of us. Sure, no problem. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Oh, wait a minute, please. Oh. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute, please. 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 Thank you. Oh, wait Okay, thank you. Thank you. See ya. Right here. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. Next to everyone in the middle? Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All right, that may have been the cutest interaction I've had this year so far. That was adorable. The little girl, she's like, thank you. Ah, oh, melted of my heart. It's still kind of coming out of winter, so all the trees are still pretty dead. But it, then it's also warm and it's also pretty sunny, so I'm not sure how to make use of the current scenes right here, right now. I'm not seeing really anything I want to take pictures of out here on the side. Oh my gosh, there's some cherry blossoms blooming, no way. No way, guys, it's way too soon for this. I did not expect to come out here and take my first cherry blossom pictures of the year. What the heck? This is crazy. All right, well, in that case, let's get nice and close try and get it lined up with something nice. Maybe this one right here. We can hopefully bring it out and post a bit. Maybe this one right here. This is crazy. I can't believe it. I'm just leaving all of my settings on auto since it's uh, super bright out, so it's usually gonna default to base ISO. Look at that, that's a cute little Lawson. So off to the side here, we've got some more just like kind of park area and stuff, but we're going to stick to kind of bordering the castle. That way we can find a way in. Maybe if there's still some light and some battery left with my GoPro, I'll come out into the woods a bit. But if you're in Osaka, 100% recommend visiting here. Oh man, it smells so good today. We've got the moon up here. Maybe we can, uh, let's see if I can frame it up with some trees or something. About right in the middle there. I like that. Okay, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera me framing this, but... There we go, we'll make something out of, out of that. Oh, the water looks so peaceful. I don't think this is good framing with the trees here. Maybe if we can get it up in the corner like so. What about if we zoom in, is there anything cool there? 
I don't think there is. You know what? Let's try and get some. That's fun. Alright, here we go. Look at that, you can kind of see the tip peeking out over there. Right here. There you go, I like that little silhouette. a little bit. Oh, anything good out this way? Like this walking trail here, maybe we can get a uh, you know, what's the point of do not disturb if it doesn't work? Maybe some sort of something here. It's like a wave of not alive stuff more alive stuff. Those crows are going wild, man. Yeah, I'll say it again. If you're, uh, if you're in Osaka, I definitely recommend visiting here. It's probably a little less busy now than it would be during, like, peak kind of tourist times, but... You can still find some pretty quiet places like just right off the main path here. You can see there's not many people where I'm walking. You can see, I don't know if you can see through the trees right here, but there's like a huge kind of event space with lots of stuff out that way. Tons of good picnic spots. good things with these people. I kind of like it here. I'm kind of liking how our trees are almost kind of framing it. So take one there and then maybe we can get some some people. Probably not. Not too interesting with the people. Oh, that's cool. We're totally going to take a picture. Flowers blooming. Man, I couldn't ask for a more Japanese scene than that. This spot right here. 
Um, might end up cropping this one later. You guys want to see a picture of some of these guys? Oh, look at this guy sitting here. All right, so you see all these people. <laughs> but if you come just a little ways to the side here and precariously climb these stairs, there's some really nice spots to uh, take photos off here on the edge. So especially like up off here to the sides. Look at this, you get the range of these mountains out here. Such a huge scene. We got lots of cool geometry like this building too. And I think it's just a little bit of work to climb those stairs, so not a whole lot of people end up coming just right up the side here. There's usually not a whole lot of people on this little bordering spot. And look how beautiful it is. I kind of like the uh, top of this one sticking out here in the trees. Oh yeah, I like that one. That one's gonna be good. We like this building. I don't know if we like that building. I also don't know why my accent changed. Oh, okay, this is nice. It's not too hot up here. Oh, this feels great. I wonder if we could fit this tree in a telephoto. No, that one's not happening. I actually got some really nice photos up here, like last year. I forget when, it was like fall last year. I think my girlfriend and I came out here and we got some really nice uh, photos. There weren't a whole lot of people and it was kind of overcast. Oh, it was so nice. So you can see we've got some nice little lookout spots up here. Any good vantage points right here? Let's see. It's a lot of people, huh? It's not very interesting. These buildings over here are quite cool too, though. Oh man, this this one right here. It reminds me of a uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original one for like PS2. Reminds me of uh, oh my gosh, I can't even remember the name, Camino. The uh, Planet Camino, the little clone facility. Oh my gosh. Natsukashina. Here we go. So always, yeah, do be careful taking these little stairs here. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys can see this, but take a look at this. So steep.
we got a pretty relatively quiet spot here. And a nice little view of the sun setting against the castle there. We'll wait for these people to go. Oh, this guy's gonna take his time, huh? Okay, all right, well, he's just gonna stand there. There we go, that's like a perfect little frame right there. A nice setting sun hitting the gold there. Oh, but here we go, look at this. There's like not a whole lot of people out here in this little area. Looks like there used to be a turret right here. And this girl's dancing and being, being funky. 11 turrets. Interesting. Of course, that girl's having fun dancing. Dancing on the edge of the barrier there. Maybe we can get a picture of her. She's having a blast. That's what matters. Here we go. I got a really nice picture of this uh, this Lawson here with my A7 IV last time. Let's see. We're going to do a couple here. We're going to try a portrait with all these people. Kind of show the scale. So we've got the people up here close going off. But then you can also see a line of buildings there and some mountains in the background. So really nice depth with that one. And this one we're going to focus more on the Lawson and the people, and I think we're gonna end up cropping that in post. So we can focus more on just the people and the Lawson there, but yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is nice. So you can see we came from up over there and you can still hear, I don't know if the uh, GoPro will pick it up, but I can still hear that person playing the music. Oh, and the cool breeze is so nice. I wonder if we can get anything interesting with these. Uh... I just, I love the close focusing ability, even if it's not an interesting subject that I'm shooting. Just like, like look, there's like this rusty pole thing here. Let's see if we can focus on that. Probably not. Might be a bit tough. So you guys can see autofocus does, uh, does struggle a bit if it's like a very small part of the frame. So I don't think using, yeah, using tap on the screen, we're not going to be able to get that super well. Oh, wow, there's a big jet right there. Okay, I mean, it's focusing on the plane pretty all right. We could hit the plane. But I think with, uh, with a bunch of stuff going on with, like, close-up, close-up subjects, it might be a little bit more difficult for the uh, telephoto to focus. This is nice. I like this little, uh, I really like the color of the door. I kind of like that framing. I want the door to be on that line and we've almost got the edge of the building right on the other one there. A little bit of stuff off to the side. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I just saw a ferret. Got a really pretty shrine here. That's the uh, that's the building I was talking about, by the way, right there. Reminds me of Camino. I don't know the proper uh, thing to do there, so I'm not going to do that without my my girlfriend explaining to me. Can I fit everything in this frame? Just about. Every time I come here, I almost never end up taking pictures of the actual castle. You can see right up there. We're actually pretty close to uh, being behind it. 
it's just crazy to think about how much history is here, you know, walking around. I wonder what it was like walking on this same path to 300 years ago. There's also some little critters over here. Oh, it's birds. I was wondering why it was so, oh my gosh, there's so many of them. No way I'm gonna be able to uh, get any of those birds though. Too small. Too small and too fast. Not enough light here. You can see all, all of the thought that went into crafting such a huge place like this. It's so crazy to think about. All right, back to more crowds of people. All right, down we go. Actually, what about this edge right here? I feel like I'm too, too close. I think we're just gonna have to be close. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't really like any of the angles super up close here. Okay, let's see. Anything interesting over here? We've got another little boat. I wonder if we can get a good shot of that. Is that cool? I like that little, I like that little walkway over there, but there's no one there. If we could have like a person right in the middle, that would be great. Okay, you know what? I want to do a shot right here. Do I? I was going to say getting nice and close to the berry. What about, okay, well, let's try and frame something cool somehow, but I want to get really close to one of these leaves. Make sure I don't slip off the edge of the stairs here. Here we go. This way we can get the leaves right here, and you've got that little statue in the background. Just to show how cool it is being able to get so close with a uh, with a telephoto. I will not stop praising that. It's the best thing I've ever uh, I've ever tried on a smartphone. Macro ability is just mm, chef's kiss. Actually, let's go closer to get these power lines out. We've got a plane coming too. Let's try and get the plane in here. Wait for it. There we go. Maybe that's cool. It's cool. Look, we got the plane right over it. I thought I missed it. But it looks like we just got it. All right. Looks like our light's fading. It's getting quite a bit cloudier. Nice, big open space here. Oh, this is nice. Like I was saying earlier, man, I wonder, I wonder what was going on in this little square hundreds of years ago. It's so crazy to think about. I think we might be just about photoed out. Maybe we can do something with this little gate here. Huh. All right, yeah, I think we're uh, 
I think we're gonna end it here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our little walk around Osaka Castle. I know I didn't take too many pictures of the castle itself, but you know, there's enough of those. You can Google those if you want, but, but yeah, be sure to uh, come check it out if you're in Osaka. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and look out for some new videos coming soon. And yeah, have yourselves a good day, week, month, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one.